Okay, now the only reason I'm posting this video is because of a video that I posted last night, which I posted this morning on the website here, as you see. Um, it, uh, the reason I want to post this video is in response to all the comments that I received on that video. There are people on there that have genuine questions as to why didn't they tranquilize this ape. Well, check it out. Now, check out what happens here. And this ape is much smaller. Okay? He's much smaller. Check out what he does when they hit him in the back with a tranquilizer. All right? Watch what happens. The tranquilizers can take too long and can actually irritate large animals, like this chimp who escaped from a zoo in Japan last month. Okay, did you see that? He dove for those men. Now, could you imagine what a silverback ape whose 400 pounds would have done, who can crush a green coconut with his bare hand? And I said hand, not two hands. You know, we would need a sledgehammer to break open a green coconut. Uh, at least that's according to Jack Hanna, who's been reporting on this on camera all over the place saying a tranquilizer is going to take minutes to put that gorilla down. And that child was already being hurt. The zoo official that made comments on that 30 minute interview saying the child was already being injured. It wasn't a matter of what if he's getting injured. He was already getting injured. Check this out. The massive primate hovering over him. Onlookers at the Cincinnati Zoo yelling as suddenly the boy is grabbed and... Okay, now that ape did that more than once. And they were saying in the zoo that the kid hit his head on concrete a few times. Now, this ape doesn't understand. He's an ape. Okay, that's a little human boy who has, in comparison to the size and nature of the skull... He's got an eggshell for a skull compared to a baby ape who would have a much stronger skull, right? And so, you know, you're not going to be able to prevent much of anything without killing the ape. Uh, but check this article out. I don't have to read anything. Look at the headline. The parents are getting death threats. Those of us that got kids, we know how kids can get away from you, all right? You turn your back and boom, the kid's gone. Happened to me when I was a little kid. All of a sudden, I was in some alleyway getting shot at with BB guns because I slipped away from the, uh, the family. And I, I was in inner city Chicago, and some kids held me up against a fence. My dad got there in time, yeah, but you just never know. Kids will slip away. What we should be concerned about is the way these zoos are set up. How did that kid have access to that area? I mean, this is not the first time this happened, and it's not going to be the last, I'm sure. And so for those of you that uh, have common sense questions, Here's some of your answers. You can't tranquilize an ape that huge and expect him to drop like, like he's been hit with a bullet. The only way to get him to drop instantly is to hit him with a bullet between the eyes. That's the only way to do it. And again, I'm not advocating the killing of animals. But when a little, when a little child's life is in danger, I mean, there, there's, there's no question here. you got to do the right thing. So thanks for watching. God bless.